Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Grade 10 Math Class. This is 3.2, Verifying the Properties of Triangles. Okay, so when you're verifying the properties of anything, we're really talking about very clear communication. So you got to imagine that it's like an essay where you really need to communicate to a person who doesn't know anything at all. And you know, they can understand what's going on, but they don't know anything about medians or anything like that. Like they don't, they don't know. They don't know what it is. So you have to explain every step really clearly. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to do a few examples, but I'm not going to complete them totally just for the sake of time because you don't probably don't want to have like a 60-minute uh, a video or a 30-minute video. If I talk through every step, it takes a longer time. So I'm just going to uh, skim over some of it. So for example, example A says verify that C40 is the centroid of triangle OPQ and that the centroid divides each median in a 2 to 1 ratio. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of that. I'm actually going to do this part. The centroid divides, uh, I'm going to do one median and then you should use that information to um, be able to do the rest, okay? So the first one I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the median from Q to OP, so I'm just going to label it M, and so MOP is equal to X1 plus X2 over 2. So again, we're writing out our formulas, and you know, when you're doing it in your homework, you should also write out the formulas, because it really helps you to memorize them, and then you don't have to study later, because they'll be in your head. You don't need to go back and like put a lot of effort into memorizing them. So 8 plus 0 over 2 is 4, and negative 4 over 2 is negative 2, like this. Okay, so that gives me my M, and uh, I want to do this median right here, so do my best to have a straight line. If you have a ruler, it's better. And so the centroid C40 hopefully would go through it. Um, so if I wanted to verify that that was the centroid, what I can do is just find all the equations of the three medians. Oops, and uh, then I would uh, check to see if C40 is actually on that line. Actually, let me do it. So <laughs> just to just to show it. So um, the slope of MQ is equal to y2 minus y1. I mean, I'm like almost there, so I might as well do it. So it's negative uh, two minus four over four minus four which is uh, something over 0, negative 6 over 0, undefined. Oops. So it's going to be x equals 4, because that's the value of all the x values. Um, so x equals 4 is the equation of that median. So verify, I want to verify that c is on that line. Verify c Four zero is on line x equals four. So we plug it in this four into four, so four equals four, and that is true. So yes, it is on that line, and we'd have to do, you know, all three, and then that would prove that it was uh, the centroid, right? Because it has to be on every single median. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to try to find the length. Okay, so I want to do I want to find um, that half of C uh, C Q half of C Q is equal to M Q, uh, M C, right? So half of C Q is hopefully equal to uh, C M or M C. So first we'll find C Q show. Okay. Use our length formula x2 minus x1 squared plus, oops, sorry I'm getting a little lag there, y2 minus y1 squared. It's the length formula we learned in the last unit. And so CQ is 4, 0, 2, um, 4, 4. So 4 minus 4 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared. doesn't matter which order as long as you keep them 
in order. So 0 plus 16 will get root 16, which is 4. And then we'll do CM. I uh, don't need to write the formula since I wrote it already in this section. Uh, so for every question, you only need to write each formula once. And uh, m was 4, negative 2. So we're going to do 4 minus 4 squared and 0 minus negative 2 is plus 2 squared. So this gives us 0 squared plus 2 squared, which is 4, root 4, which is 2. So 1 half of 4 is equal to 2, therefore half of CQ is equal to CM, which is what we were trying to prove. And you can pr finish it like this, or you can draw a square like this, or you can write QED. This just shows that we have finished a proof and makes us happy. Okay, so uh, in ABC, D is the midpoint of <laughs> side AC, and E is the midpoint of side BC. Uh, if you can't read this, A is 1, 3, C is 7, 5, oops, and B is 5, 1. So I'm going to ask you to do this and bring it to class. So that is your job um, before you get to class. I want you to find D and E, right? Verify that line segment DE is parallel to side AB. So to do that, we're going to find both slopes and prove that they're equal. And then we want to verify that line segment DE is half the length of AB. So find the two lengths and then prove DE is equal to half AB. Okay, so try those questions on your own uh, and uh, bring them to class and we will look at them together. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.